Hi, in this video, we are going to see how to find whether a given number is prime or not. A prime number is the one which is only divided by 1 and by itself. Okay, so we will find whether a given number is prime or not using this code. So let us write a code for that. So first thing is we have to write a code to get the number from the user so for that we will have here we will write here uh, first we will, we will create a scanner first then we will write system dot out dot print ln enter a number then we will create a scanner object scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in Okay, so now we will uh, we will call s dot next int. So this will return the value we entered using the keyboard. Okay, so now what we do is let us have a if statement. So let us also uh, have a boolean variable boolean result equal to let us declare a static method is prime which will return either true or false. So we have to write that method. So now we have to pass this n to it. Then we have to have a if condition if result that is if the result is true then we will print we will print system dot out dot print ln the number the number n is prime okay so otherwise else we will print the number the n is not prime okay is not so now what is left over is we have to write the is prime method that we will write it so static boolean is prime this method take integer as parameter and inside the method you have to write the logic for that okay so the logic is First thing is we have to check whether the number is less than or equal to 1. If it is the case, if n is less than or equal to 1, then we have to return false. Okay. So now we have to check the number is not equal to or less than 1. Now what we have to do is we have to use a for loop and we have to uh, iterate the for loop from 2 to i less than 
n okay then increment i then we have to we have to divide the number using the value i that means we are trying to divide the number from the number given number from 2 to less than n if any number successfully divides that number then that number is the given number is not prime so we can return false if no number no no one divides that number successfully that means the number is prime so what we do we have to do is if you write the logic as n modulus n modulus i equal to 0 then we have to return false so any of the number divides this n then it means it is not a prime number so we return false so if no number no no number is no number divides n then we can return true okay so this is how we can work with so the method must return a result of type boolean yes So we have written here. Let's see what is the problem. What we can do is to solve this issue, we can have new one thing more n result. Okay. So we will assign the value result equal to false here also we will assign the value result equal to false here also result equal to true and finally finally we will return return result So here what is the problem the local variable result may not have initialized so we have to we have to initialize it so now we are done with that so again we will write we will see the logic here in this inside the is prime method what we have done we have declared a boolean variable result now we check the value n if it is less than or equal to one it means if it is equal to 1 or if it is less than 1 then it is not a prime number so we assign value false to the result then we don't have to go to this part actually uh, we have we don't have to go to the for loop at all in this case we can return it but anyway so yeah so what we do is let us uh, have a return statement here also so that we can stop here if it is not a prime number we don't have to oh, run this for loop if but if it is not equal to one or if it is not less than one if it is greater than one and if it is not equal to one if it is greater than one in this case we go to the for loop and inside the for loop what we have done is we are trying to divide this number from two to the number less than one so we are trying to divide it if it is div divided any if you find any divisor then in this case we assign false to the result that means it is not a prime number if we don't find any divisor then we assign true to the result then in that case it is a prime number we finally return the result so this result we are checking here at line number 33 if the result is true means it is prime number otherwise it is false number it is not a prime number okay now let us run this 
let us run this code and see the output now. So enter a number. We enter a number 25. We know that it is not a prime number. But it is saying the number 25 is a prime number. So something wrong with this. Let us fix this problem. So here if it is we are dividing it by i and the using the modulo oper modulo operator we try to divide it and the, the remainder is equal to zero if it is equal to zero means the result is false otherwise the result is true okay where we miss it n is less than or equal to 1 okay what we do is Print the value. Okay, system dot out. Print the length. Let's print the result and see what we are getting here. Okay, so let us see the this thing. So let us run it again and see the output again. So let us enter the value 25 again and see what we get it. So it is returning, it is printing true. Okay, why it is printing true? Yeah, I understand the problem now. The problem is if the if any number if any number divides n then we set false to this result and what we have to do is we have to break it from the loop that's why we are getting error now let us again run this code and see the output now now we enter 25 again now this time we are getting the correct output so it is the number 25 is not prime yes so what we do is let us enter a number we know that number is a prime number we will see whether it is returning correctly the result or not so let us enter number 19 we know that it is a prime number and see what our code says yes true the number is number 19 is prime Okay, so I think we are done with this code. So, this program is used for finding out the whether the number is prime or not.